I got the nude tube from, from Help Look. It's from The Balm. I've been waiting and wanting to get this palette for so, so long. And um, these are the colors that are in there. They're super duper pretty. Love them. Um, open this up. It comes with this little brush, which the brush is, eh, it's okay. It's not the best brush ever. And this is how it looks inside. Beautiful colors. We have sassy and snobby. Let's see here. Um, the matte white and a shimmery gold. And then there's a darker pink shimmer, stubborn. And then a lighter peachy pink standoffish. And then this one is um, like a taupe brown kind of shimmer color. Um, and then sultry is a matte brown. And then here sophisticated is a darker shimmery brown. Seductive is actually very similar to the sultry, um, but with shimmer in it. And then sexy is a burgundy color, my favorite one I think here. And silly is um, a dark brown with more um, bigger glitters I guess in there. And then serious is like a black, but it kind of shows up gray, grayish black, I guess. And then sleek is the last one. It's a dark, dark matte brown, which I love dark matte browns. Um, I like to use them for under my eye and um, as a liner and stuff. So, and that's, this brush is really good for that. So that is the palette right there. Really pretty, love it, love it, love it. it has a nice big mirror in front of my window. Let's see. So, and I got this from Holt Look, and um, it's, I got it for $18. I think it's usually $36. So, um, it was a really, really good deal. So, when it does come back to Holt Look, I suggest you go and check it out if that is what you want to get. I mean, they come on Holt Look all the time. Um, I would definitely suggest waiting for it to come back because this has been on there so many times and I've passed it up every single time. So I'm finally, I, um, I had like a, a credit on there from um, when my mail got stolen, whatever, they ended up giving me a credit for the NYX jumbo pencils. So I ended up getting this with that credit and I just had to pay a couple extra dollars for that, for this. Um, but I really love it. So, so pretty. Um, I definitely would recommend it. Um, People ask me if I like this over Urban Decay, and honestly, I only have one shadow from Urban Decay, so it's really, really hard. Although, a friend of mine at work had the Naked 2 palette, and she doesn't know how to wear eyeshadow. She's like, I don't know how to wear eyeshadow. I want you to put eyeshadow on and then take pictures and show me. So I did get a chance to use the Urban Decay 2 palette, and um, they were very beautiful colors. I liked them a lot, but you had to work at it a little bit more to get the color like these. Um, the color comes off so nice. Um, I don't know, I, I really like it. Actually, this one here, I don't know if they're different formulas or not, but this palette here, a little dab will do you for this one, and it goes a long, long, long way. Um, this has a lot, a lot of pigment compared to this one, but I like them both. Um, and I actually like it better than the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. You know, I only used it a, a couple of times, so um, that's just my opinion. I'm sure people think that I'm either nuts or crazy or whatever. And this is way cheaper as well. I mean, the, the Naked palettes are 50 bucks and this one, well, because I got it on a look, it was only $18, but I mean, in the store, it's like $36, so $36, $38, something like that. There you go. And I swatched all the colors for you, so I'll just tell you. And I put um, the NYX White Eyeshadow Base, so you can see what it looks like without a, a base and then with a base. So let's just start off. Let's see here. The first one, the white one. 
This is sassy and this is snobby. The other one is stubborn, which is like a um, like a rosy pink. And then this is a lighter peachy pink standoffish. The next one is um, selfish. It's a brown, you know, um, brown shimmery color. This one is the second matte color, uh, matte color, which is sultry. The other one is the white one up here, the sassy. Is the sophisticated, a darker shimmery brown. This one, seductive, is a simmer, similar to the matte one here, but it just has shimmers in it. Um, the burgundy one is called sexy. And then there's a dark glittery one called silly. It's a brown. And then there's a black gray kind of color called serious and the last one is called sleek so um, they stand out so much more with the primer you can just see that the line straight down here is where the primer is and this side doesn't have any primer here makes a big difference if you guys don't use primer definitely go and get yourself some primer it makes a humongous difference and it doesn't have to be a white primer it could be the the skin tone primer um, the e.l.f. primer is really good. I just happened to use this one because it was just um, easier to put on and a big wet swipe. And it has um, this little brush in there too. It's one side is like a liner brush and the other side is the eyeshadow brush. I personally don't like this brush at all. If anything, I'd use it for the liner. Um, and that's about it. But I mean, I'll just take like burgundy, the sexy one, which is super, super duper pretty. And... Um, I just don't like the way it applies. It doesn't hold the color very well and if you use a different brush it packs it on a lot better so this brush is is like eh brush. So I really do like the palette a lot. Um, the only thing that I don't like or not so much don't like that I wish was different would be how um, these shadows are very small in comparison to these other ones that I have in, from the same, you know, from the balm. These are much, much bigger. Um, and actually, I think, I want to say, I'm not sure exactly the retail price for the two of them. What's the comparison? It's only like um, two bucks or something like that, two to four dollars difference between the two of them. But, um, I like the fact that this has such humongous shadows in there and all the shadows are really good. And in case anybody is wondering what colors are, color I'm wearing on my nails today, and this is from the Clout Perk Recessionista um, that I got last week uh, from Essie. So this was a free polish. Um, and if you have yet to sign up to Clout, I suggest you go and do so. Very, very pretty, perfect for the season. So I guess I'll see you guys next week.